Looks like the wasp found himself a little hornworm. They don't waste a lot of time eating these guys. If I were to sit here, he would really go through it. Hey guys, it's Rob the Backyard Gardener. I'm sorry I don't have a shirt on, but it is just way too hot for a shirt right now. I was uh, doing a little uh, swimming and a little gardening, and I told you I was gonna give you an update on my watermelons next week, but <laughs> I was out here looking around, and guess what? The watermelon from last week that I said appeared to be set, about three days later, it started to look a little bit bigger, and then every day since then, it keeps doubling, so I figured I'd give you a look at it anyway and then show you what the heck the white flies are doing in my yard. Let's go take a look. You'll remember I showed you a little tiny watermelon uh, flower that I said appeared to have been set. And I said in my last video, well, it looks just like a flower now, but I was pretty certain it was set. And let me show you in only a week what we got. Wow. In only a week. Put my hand next to it so you get a good idea how big it is. So, definitely getting some size in a week. This guy will continue to grow. It almost doubles every day. So I'm super excited to see. Looks like it's a Charleston Gray Watermelon. Yeah, it's definitely a Charleston Gray Watermelon because the other two are Jubilees and Icebox. And uh, there's no lines on this, no striping. So it's definitely one of my Charleston Grays. So I wanted to show you the white fly problem that I've been having. Now I treated these guys with neem oil, but let me show you, look at how many there were. They got a little neem oil on them. They got stuck to the plant. They're pretty much goners now. But guys, I cannot believe for the life of me, I've never had white flies back here. Let me say it differently. I've had a few here and there. This year, they absolutely are going crazy and I know why they're going crazy. I've never grown so much watermelon and cantaloupes and they are all over these guys just attacking them like crazy. Most white flies I've ever seen in my yard. <sighs> Good thing is you just got to stick with the regimen every couple days a little bit of sea, uh, neem oil and some soapy water. Spray it on there usually at night rinse it off early in the morning and then wait a couple days and do it again. I did this this morning because I was just so many of them I just had to risk the plants health short term to kill as many as possible. All right everyone that's just a quick update on my watermelon grown from seed series the cantaloupes from seed as well. Um, wasn't going to show you too much I just wanted to give you an update really on the white flies and also on the progress of that Charleston Gray watermelon. Time for me to get back in the pool and enjoy a cold one. Have a great day everyone and as always thanks for watching.